What's up, everybody? This is Z Panther back again, narrating for Jim's channel. Uh, we're now in the bracket for ADV Revival, and uh, being in the bracket, we're gonna have some pretty good matchups. This one in particular, we have Zomog. Uh, his all is Broverly Hills down at the bottom there, and we got Beehole, good buddy of mine and a uh, Mushi League legend. Uh, Zomog is a pretty well-known player as well. He uh, was a seeded player in this tournament. So, expecting a really good one out of this. All right, so let's get into it. Dapdos lead for Zomog, Metagross for Beehole. Instantly switches into Celebi, makes sense. Probably uh, seeing a Doug Trio come out here. Celebi actually outspeeds the Zapdos. You don't see that every day. And Celebi actually subs as the Metagross immediately breaks that sub with Mash. Out comes a Magneton. Hoping that it might be CB. Doesn't look like CB based off that damage, so Beehole is going to switch. Out comes a Gyarados. And the Metagross just booms, so maybe it didn't have anything to touch that Magneton. Um, interesting, could have been like a suit tar or something, or suit meta, sorry, didn't have uh, EQ. Ooh, and that looks like ban damage from the Metagross on B-hole side. Zapdos is not going to take that well. And sub on the mash miss is going to help Zomag out here. So he is going to just get a Thunderbolt off. And another mash miss. So this Zapdos putting in work here for Zomog. As Celebi comes back out. And we do know that this Celebi is uh, faster. So it is going to be able to break the sub. But he just baton passes. Maybe expecting a switch there. Uh, but Behold just giving up the Metagross. So probably expect a Psychic here I'd assume. Oh. Okay. So... Could be seeing a speed tie here. Looks like Zapdos went first this time. Probably uh, shooting for a certain range, and wow. It looks like it's going to be coming down to a speed tie, and the Celebi does win that speed tie. As Alakazam comes out, that is pretty crazy. Alakazam definitely going to do enough to finish this off. Ooh, but the T-Tar comes out, and if this is uh, HP bug, this could be pretty bad, this crunch, this could be pretty bad, or Dragon Dance. But uh, he's actually not going to outspeed the Alakazam after Dragon Dance, so... Uh, misplay by B-Hole there. HP Bug, Earthquake, or Rock Slide probably were enough to take this out. Uh, but Alakazam going to actually put in a lot of work here. Not going to be a 2 a KO on the Salamence. It probably would after Sand, but the Salamence will outspeed. I uh, don't think it's going to knock out the T-Tar, but either way, uh, Suicune comes out, definitely showing that it has Ice Beam. Yep, and that just removes the Celebi. Probably seeing Magneton come out here, yep. Uh, you'd expect the last for Zomog to be some kind of ground type, maybe. So, Magneton probably not the scariest. But it actually just stays in with Suicune, so... Very possible that uh, he doesn't actually. And the Endura Magneton means it's actually going to get a big T-Bowl off on something here. Nope. And he does have that ground type. Doug Trio definitely uh, seemed like the move here. Um, actually showing that he might be slow dug uh, by switching out there probably would have lived to HP Grass if it was slow dug with bulk anyway. So, uh, But didn't want to risk it or give the free turn to Salamence more like. Ooh, and this is a timid Suicune, so it's going to outspeed this Salamence and just KO it. Very close back and forth game. Uh, definitely a cool team with Alakazam from Zomog, and a very cool physical offense team from Beehole. Alright, let's get into game two. Alright. So... Salamence lead for Zomog and Waylord lead for Beehole. Uh, Waylord's been getting a lot of run in this tournament so far, and uh, it's been doing work as that water spout absolutely chunks the Skarmory. 
as it just gives uh, goes for Thief. And Zomog, or sorry, Beehole reading the switch there, going for Ice Beam because it killed the Skarmory anyway. And hit Chunks of Celebi. Metagross out here, probably just going to go for Mash, and it actually misses. So Beehole's Metagross still can't land a thing, uh, even in this game too. And he just switches into Zapdos. Back into Metagross. Reading the Toxic. And probably just going to Earthquake for the Jirachi. Yeah, as Celebi comes back out. Probably going to see a repeat cycle here with the Leech Seed and the Mash. But that Meteor Mash is doing a lot. So Celebi's most likely going to want to get out here. Or it just goes for Recover. That's one way to solve that problem is... Zapdos probably going to... Oh, I thought it would go for sub, but it actually goes for drill pack. Zomog predicting that goes for Jirachi. And Metagross is going to take a big fire punch. Luckily for Behold, no burn on that. But uh, Jirachi is looking pretty scary for this team at the moment. Metagross uh, forced to go for the obvious play, considering Mash wouldn't do too much. And once again, we're seeing this as Behold just selects to end this rotation and uh, blows up on the Celebi. Wellard actually poised for quite a bit right here. Uh, Water Spout not doing a, quite a 2 hit KO, but it is going to force a Drashi Protect, and Behold reads that and goes to Doug. Now, if this is Bulky Doug, it could be a roll to kill here. Yep. Uh, but knowing that this isn't the Body Slam version, Behold feels pretty safe about this, and the Drachi is a pretty big nuisance to his team. Skarmory gonna get up a spike here, it seems like, but at this point, I think the damage is pretty much done with it. As Zomog reveals the Claydol, and Behold just elects to sack the Doug Trio. Wow, and catches the boom! What a play! Probably Zomog was expecting the Wailord to come out to threaten this. Um, but Behole straight up reads that and goes into Doug. And Jolteon looking very good here. Gonna do a ton to that Suicune. Zomog going for the Calm Mind, but it's not gonna be enough. Jolteon's just gonna clean up this game for Behole. Wow. Wailord putting in work once again in this tournament. Uh, Good plays from both sides, but Behole really, really playing out of his mind that game too. See if uh, Zomog can bring it back in game three. All right, Fortress lead for Zomog versus Zapdos. As uh, Fortress just goes for spikes, giving the Zapdos a free sub and a free big hit on that Fortress. Fortress probably gonna elect the switch here. As Behold just goes for the T-Bolt again, and now is going to Baton Pass into Metagross. Zomog just going for the Toss, because that is going to guarantee break the sub. Had he gone for Ice Beam, it would not. And now that Behold sees counter, he switches. A very fortunate miss uh, on Meteor Mash him, because that counter would have absolutely destroyed the Metagross. And the T-Tar goes for Substitute, so we could be seeing a Boatar here, maybe Crunch, Thunder, Focus Punch. Or maybe it's a newer version, no, it's just a, perhaps Viltar, which is the Sub, Focus Punch, Rock Slide, Earthquake set. Ooh, and Zomog catches Beehole on the switch with the Dragon Claw. Huge predict from Zomog, the absolute chunks Beehole. But Regice is pretty well poised here. We'll see if uh, Zomog plays around the Thunder Wave. He does not, but he gives the Toxic off on the Regice. So both special walls or some of them are crippled for both sides. I mean, Zomog definitely has the sturdier one since he has Blissey in the back. And the Metagross is going to do an absolute ton. Zomog going for an overpredict there, expecting a switch maybe to Zapdos or something, maybe that was a misclick, um, but Metagross gets a ton of damage off on it. And the Zapdos, gonna go for Teeble, Jirachi's not gonna be able to get a wish off because of the full para.
and Blissey is out again, but that Jirachi is uh, looking low, and with the para, it's, it's not likely to heal again. Alright, Metagross is looking low. We'll see if... Uh... Ooh, it does not go for... It does not go for the boom. Beehole has the patience to not go for it yet. Ooh, and he stays in with his Metagross. Not wanting to probably catch a uh, Fire Blast on the switch from Regice. Probably a smart move here. Does he go for the boom here though, expecting the Blissey? Looks like Zomog is trying to read that boom and goes Fortress. Fortress isn't really going to take a take a ton from that, but it's still going to do quite a bit since uh, Stab Ice Beam does go a long way. And it does look like Thunderbolt might be a roll to kill here. Maybe not. Nope. And uh, Fortress is actually going to 1v1 this Regice and get all three layers of Spike up. So, Beehole on the back foot. Looks like Zomok is pulling this off. Zapdos going to just revenge that. And Arrow is probably the last thing Beehole wants to see here. But he does have a Swampert in the back. Okay. So, Swampert is pretty well poised here. If it is a more offensive variant, well, Tyranitar is one way to do it as well. Especially when you catch the Blissey on the switch like that. Ooh. And this T-Tar is very well poised here. Blissey definitely not going to want to take this Focus Punch. In fact, uh, Blissey's just going to die. Meaning Zapdos is uh, pretty scary here now as well. And it looks like this T-Tar is HP Bug. So, T-Tar is faster. If this is a mixed tar this could be scary, but it actually reveals itself to be a Pursuit Tar. Tud damage could be huge. And this looks like it's going to come down to the wire. Salmon should be enough to revenge this Swamp right here. And depending on this speed, Zapdos could be faster, or the Mence could. Looks like the Mence is. It won't Oh, looks like it was a speed tie, actually. So, one rock slide, and Zomog wins this and advances, and he misses. Wow. Insane miss right there. That, that, wow. Well, that's a bracket deciding rock slide miss right there. You know, sometimes that happens. I think uh, Beehole definitely clawed his way back toward the end. Um... But Zomog definitely, uh, definitely got a little robbed there. <laughs> but either way, great games by both sides. I think uh, Zomog had a very good game one. Beehole absolutely killed it game two. And then game three was just a back and forth fest from both both sides. I think uh, an early lead for Zomog, but a uh, great comeback from Beehole. And then, you know... That's Pokemon. You miss a rock slide here or there, that happens. And uh, either way, I think this was uh, good games all around by both sides. Uh, with that, guys, I will catch y'all later. Hopefully, I can do more for you guys in the future. Uh, if you like this, give me a subscribe. Uh, give Jim's channel a subscribe as well. And uh, thank you for everybody who's donated to this tour so far. I'll uh, leave you guys with the donor screen.